not not bad. Metaphor metamorphosis, I think. Yeah. yeah, metamorphosis is a process where a creature changes into a new thing. If you could see here, the butterfly lays an egg, the egg hatches to a caterpillar. That caterpillar will eat the shell of that egg, making it the first meal that this guy ever eaten. And then, after eating a lot, the caterpillar will then become a pupa. Then, it will become a butterfly. Here's a fascinating fact. Butter, butterflies only lay one egg per leaf. Here. This is actually, I observed this. This is the first ever caterpillar that I observed during metamorphosis. Here, you, you see that this caterpillar isn't very colorful. It's actually because this caterpillar is already mature enough to become pupae. Just five years old when this happened. After this caterpillar became became a pupa, it will become, after becoming a pupa, it would take around maybe a few weeks. Then it became a swift, maybe a green army moth. Yeah, green army moth. Continuing, let's, let's go. Caterpillar have 10 segments. That means 10 parts maybe. While butterfly has around 3 segments. Caterpillar have at least 12 simple eyes. Simple eyes. Simple eyes. It, this one, they only can see that the light can change. Like a shadow. But they can't really see as better as the butterfly. It has two compound eyes. These eyes can actually see ultraviolet rays that humans cannot see at all. They also see maybe yellow, red, and green. What, what do caterpillar eat? Good job! Good job, Josh. Plants. Caterpillars eat plants. So what do what do butterfly eat? They eat nectar from flowers. Cater well, butterfly can fly. The caterpillar here cannot eat eggs. So cannot lay eggs. Well, the butterfly can already. Actually, did you, did you, there's actually magic inside the pupa stage. You know, where it becomes a caterpillar, the middle stage, where the caterpillar becomes butterfly. Actually, the caterpillar will actually turn itself into soup. Then it will start to arrange its body parts to turn into a butterfly. It's actually the same thing as Bumblebee in Transformers. Car to Bumble from a car to a robot. Butterfly's wings are actually transparent, if you know. But uh, here, inside here, let's check what are on the wings here. You could see that there are actually like billions of triangle shaped lines that act like a prism. If you don't know like a prism, it's something maybe like a diamond shaped glass, which when light passes through, it becomes a rainbow. It will only reflect blue. Evolution cannot do this. The fa our father can, can do. As Colossians 1 verse 16, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Here are some fascinating facts about butterflies. Flies actually taste with their feet. And also, did you know that butterflies also drink, eat mud? Or actually drink mud? So that to get nutrients. Mm -hmm. And as I said, butterflies have two compound, two compound eyes. 
which are able to see ultraviolet colors which are invisible to the human eye. Actually, did you know that butterflies can't fly during very in very cold weather? Here are also more fascinating facts about butterflies. The the tongue coil up in the, the tongue, the butterfly's tongue is called the proboscis. While the butterf actually the the thing that makes it colorful is its scales. It has like little scales which actually make it colorful. It also can provide in hmm, endurance to the to its wing. I'm sure it can last longer in its wing. And the antenna is used for touching and smell. Did you get that? Okay. How about the proboscis? What 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 is the proboscis used for? What? What is the proboscis is used for? Proboscis. Okay. The proboscis is used for to drink nectar from the flowers. For sure, it's like a very long bendable straw. Moving on. I have a question for you. What is the difference between butterfly and moth? Here, the moth part, that's actually me holding a Hercules Emperor moth. One of the most biggest moths in the in of moth species. Their wingspan can reach up to maybe a dinner plate. Yeah, very big one. Just to give you a next thing, the Hercules Emperor moth is the biggest moth ever, which its wingspan can fit a plate, the same size as a plate. Tell me, how can you tell a butterfly from a moth? Difference between them. What? Okay. okay, I'll show you. The difference between them is that butterflies rest with their wings closed. As you look at this moth, this moth's wings are open when it's rest. Butterflies have vibrant colors which mean that it's very colorful well the moth it's a little bit not very colorful at least a bit more darkish maybe they also have smooth antenna while the moth has actually hairy also most most butterflies fly in day you're if you're you're gonna Actually, but butterflies are also found in caves. As I said here, most moths rest with their wings open. They 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 are they are less vibrant than the butterflies, and they have hairy antenna. Mm. Yes, because where I found this Emperor Hercules, Emperor Moth, was actually at night when it was attracted by light. Moving on. Thank you for, thank you for listening. Any questions?
Okay, you're welcome. Caterpillar. 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 Actually, we found them feeding on, on my mom's calamansi plant. We have to take them off because she, the calamansi plant is still very young. Yeah. We